Hey guys, Ruben Lara here, and today we're going to talk about using 3D models as a reference for when you get stuck in a drawing. And you don't even have to learn a 3D program to use this handy trick. Today, I need a reference for these shoe shapes. For me, feet are already super complex. Add on top of that, all of the crazy contours that shoes and boots have these days, it makes for a very difficult shape to draw in various perspectives. So I'm going to use a 3D model to help me out. I'm heading over to one of my favorite 3D model sites, Sketchfab which is an online shop where 3D artists post models for lots of different uses. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just type in shoe. And this one looks pretty good. Now the great thing about sites like Sketchfab is a lot of these models come with a built-in 3D viewer where I can tumble the model in space and view it from lots of different angles. I'm just gonna go ahead and go full screen here. And with my mouse, with my left mouse button, I can tumble. With the scroll wheel, I can zoom in and out. And with the right mouse button, I can pan from side to side. Now the viewers mostly come with a wide angle camera, which means that when you're up close right on this model, we're getting a lot of distortion in the model, which is a good thing if your image is in a narrow angle. Now if you have questions about the difference between narrow angle and wide angle, make sure to check out my course on perspective called Four Secrets to Drawing in Perspective Like the Pros and it really breaks down the difference between wide and narrow angles and how that relates to your perspective grid. In this case, my drawing is somewhere between, I think it's probably closer to a, a narrow angle, so I am looking for quite a bit of distortion in these shoes. If I wanted uh, less distortion, then I would just have to settle for a much lower resolution um, angle here, but this definitely would be enough to help me out if I needed that. So I'm just gonna pop uh, maybe around here somewhere, orient this to somewhere where I know is a good look for that left shoe. I'm going to screen grab that, hop on over to Clip Studio, and paste. And I'm looking at this left shoe here, and I think that's pretty good. Again, this is a reference. Um, I'm not necessarily gonna trace it. In fact, I don't want to trace it, because my drawing is already in a very specific perspective. I have a good idea of what the cubic form of this foot should look like, but I do need to know what that sole shape is doing in space. So that's gonna be good enough for me. And I think for this right foot, I'm looking for something that's a little bit more uh, underneath. So let's hop on over again and I'll probably get something that looks like that. So I'll take a screenshot of that, paste it, and yeah, I think, I think it looks pretty good. And just while I'm here, I might just get a couple more angles and do something that looks like this, just in case I decide to um, rotate that foot a little bit in space. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, now it's just time to use these shoes as reference and finish my drawing. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And if this tip helps you get unstuck on one of your projects, consider making a small donation on my site at rubenlara.com donate. And that helps me to keep sharing more production proven techniques with the art community. Okay, see you on the next round. So we bust, bust.